Welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be reviewing Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. This show, it, there's only two episodes out, so this review might be completely off by the end of the season. But this is for the spring 2019 season. Without further ado, let's get the review hat on and get started. So, Kimetsu no Yaiba is set in what seems to be like a samurai-style era of Japan. I don't know if it's Japan specifically, but that's just what the setting seems to be. In this world, demons roam the wilderness at night with the sun as their main enemy. When the show opens up, it starts with the main character, Tanjiro, carrying his little sister through the forest. He, she seems to be wounded or something. We don't really see exactly what's going wrong until a little bit later in the episode. After the opening scene, it basically just cuts to him interacting with his family. He's getting ready to go down to the village nearby because they live at the top of a mountain to sell some charcoal. He's just trying to make a little bit of money and he seems to be the village's handyman. When he gets to the village, he ends up helping out a lot of different people, either through just basic labor like carrying stuff or through his phenomenal sense of smell. He's completely inhuman sense of smell. <laughs> Once he's done helping out people of the village, he starts to head back up home, but it's getting dark, and on his way, an old man from his from a window calls out to Tanjiro saying, Hey, you probably shouldn't go. It's dark. You should stay back. So he decides to listen to the old man and he stays the night at the man's house and starts to head back in the morning. However, when he gets back up the mountain and gets to his house, he finds that tragedy has struck. His whole family has been slaughtered, and he, the only survivor seems to be his little sister, Nezuko. So he puts Nezuko on his back, desperately tries to carry her back to the village, get her some help, try to save her life. While he's carrying her to the village, he finds out after she attacks him that she, too, has turned into a demon. While he's trying to not die to his rabid sister, he encounters a demon slayer who basically comes to try and save him, but... <gasps> Nezuko pleads for his sister's life, desperately trying to save her, and through some interactions, I don't want to spoil too much, I am basically telling the plot of the story. But I don't want to go into detail, because you should still watch it yourself. Long story short, he finds out from the demon slayer that basically saves him that demons are just, when they get hungry, they attack the nearest thing. They usually lose their minds in terms of who they were as people, and that demons multiply by having a human's wounds become exposed to demon's blood. However, the demon slayer decides that perhaps this boy and his sister are different. Perhaps there's something different about them, and instead of killing the sister, he sets them off to go meet the Demon Slayer, I guess he's the master, the Demon Slayer Sensei. And on his way, he encounters some trouble from another demon, you know, he there's a little bit of adventures. But eventually he does meet the man, the old man that he has been sent out to find. And the old man puts him through a trial, it's very demanding, it's very tough. And uh, it actually ends up making Tanjiro a little wounded. And throughout their interaction, Tanjiro is generally berated by the master for his constant indecisiveness, his lack of resolve, as they seem to put it. That's the basic synopsis of the first two episodes. I left a lot out, so I didn't, I tried not to give too many spoilers or too many hints on what actually goes on in those first two episodes, because a lot does kind of happen. Overall, I really enjoy the animation and the show itself. The art style of the show is really good. It's not particularly different from any other anime art style I've seen. Although the way they draw the eyes in this show, I really enjoy, and they seem to pay a lot of attention to detail, particularly on characters' clothing and stuff like that. Also in the opening, which by the way, the opening is actually pretty good. I, I sometimes don't like anime openings and I'll skip them oftentimes. In the opening, we see like a kind of elemental combat type thing. I'm, I'm assuming that each person has their own unique element that they have an affinity for and they are able to harness that elemental power in combat and use it when they swing their sword or something. But it looks like a kind of painted art style. I really like it and I hope they actually use it because that'll make for some really cool scenes in the future. Also, even though the overall tone of the show seems to be fairly dark and serious, there are little moments of light peppered throughout, such as like my favorite out of the first two episodes, the little basket scene where 
Tanjiro is trying to make a way to carry his little sister Nezuko around during the daylight because she is technically still a demon now so sunlight is harmful to her. The pacing of the show also feels really good like it, it's not slow at all there's not too much time wasted on meaningless dialogue or meaningless actions they don't spend a whole lot of time like doing stuff that just isn't important to the story so i can't seem to really find anything wrong with this show out of the first two episodes i really enjoyed it and if you think that this is the show for you if you like dark with a little bit of action maybe a lot of bit of action then i think you should have this to your list i think you should check it out i'm going to give the show uh a five out of five highly recommend it i think you should check it out naturally i know i've said this a half a dozen times in this video but we are only two episodes in so the show could fall off really heavily by the end of the season i don't see that happening it's still possible though so the review could be completely wrong by the 12th episode i'm assuming it's going to be 12 episodes but yeah i think this is going to be one of the better shows this season and uh that's that's about it that's about everything in the video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you check out this show. And uh, please check out my other reviews or my other dumb shit. Let me just rub the mic with my hat a little bit more. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll make for a better video. Goodbye.